Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ramon Nayar, and I live at 4 South 210 Bark High Lane. I'm going to make this like three minutes. Home is where the heart is. Enjoying the change of seasons in a familiar town that continues to evolve is how I would put context behind the phrase, home is where the heart is. In many ways, context is everything. I have always wanted to be a good neighbor in a city where I am originally from. And I understand that things change, and I do want to be supportive for the positive development of this great town, attracting great businesses that can make a difference in our community in an open and neighborly manner. I am here today asking the City Council to please consider the context behind what is changing and either grant more time and or a provisional approval with the requirement that a written agreement be reached between the developer and the adjacent homeowner regarding the buffer specificity. I am the adjacent homeowner for the proposed rezoning and ORI development of what is currently residential. I have strong objections to any variance for the 100 foot setback requirement for an open parking lot that is to border my home. Indian Hill Woods is a special set of residential properties of beautiful woodland surroundings that several homeowners have enjoyed for decades. What is currently a wooded border with recessed trees is planned to be an open parking lot that would serve as the new southern border to my home. I would ask that the city require this rezoned development to have the developer put in place an acoustical fence to mitigate noise the imminent deforestation of the adjacent property to accommodate an open parking lot will result in substantial noise increase from interstate, street, and parking lot traffic. I would also ask that the appropriate landscaping be put in place north of such a fence to provide year-round privacy and minimize visual encroachments to my home. This could include light flares from cars, parking lot lights, and the temptation for any guests or employees of the ORI development to wander into my yard. The challenge of clearly defining what I'm asking for is that I need more time or a provisional guarantee to outline the details in a collaborative manner with a developer's representative who has never reached out to me directly. In fact, after a recent meeting with Mr. Whitaker, it would seem that there is little or no interest in truly working together to reach an agreement for adapting to the changes that are expected to take place with this rezoning. After hearing about this development secondhand, my initial inquiries at the beginning of the month to the city planning team were addressed by Derek Rockwell when he contacted me back on August 7th. He was also surprised to learn that I had never received notice via mail or phone call by the developer or representative of the developer. I asked if I had any rights or validity regarding expressing my concerns about the site plan as it relates to the mere 37-foot setback to border my home. His empathetic, his empathetic tone led me to believe that my concerns were not unreasonable. Derek assured me that the city annexation carries substantial leverage when asking developers to adhere to codes and relating requirements. Furthermore, Derek did state that the city of Naperville is not in the business of encroaching upon neighbors, especially in the context of a commercial development being adjacent to a residential home and community. Please help us have a written agreement in place between the homeowners and the developer to address the specificity of what buffer accommodations will be put in place and to provide assurances um, so that we can uh, have a coexisting and uh, peaceful, respectable manner. Thank you. Are there any Thank questions? Thank you very much. I, I have a question. Go ahead. Are you on the first? OK, so you're unincorporated. Correct. And you want the city of Naperville that you've chosen not to be in to help you out here. Have you talked to your uh, county board person? I know this is kind of a touchy thing, but I mean, that's the reality, right? Have you talked to a county board person to help you out? I, I, I did reach out to the, the, the county and then uh, I, I guess I'm just trying to understand your question. Your, your question is that we don't represent you. You're not in the city. Okay. But I did speak to Derek, to Derek, and he did say that even if I wasn't unincorporated, I still had the right to yeah, you have the voice right. some, some, con some concerns. Right. Yeah, you can voice them, but I, I don't get... Okay, well... What, why a city property should go above and beyond for a, a, a county resident that's chosen to live where they, where, where they do. Is it going above and beyond? Um, 
that's the question. To give what you are? I think yes. What you're asking for, I, I do. Okay, so you're saying that buffers are not normally made? Okay, now we're going into a dialogue. We, we, we don't have that. We can do this offline. Okay, well, I just, I just feel, uh, I just wanted to voice my concern, that's all, respectfully. 